If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. <laughs> I'll become an existent that could have even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on the island? Hey. Well, answer my question. That's... If, if that's the case, even that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? Okay, five days left. I'm really not sure what this uh, timer is. Okay, chapter four. That's the end for the chapter four. Surviving students, seven. And then there were seven. And I really don't know what to expect on the, on the ending for this game. Hellhound Earring, that's obviously for Gunham. I'm gonna save here. After being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than we were at the beginning. Stupid fool. Get it together. Whoa. Did you hear something? I think that was Mekomaru. Hey! It's Nekomaru. That was Coach Nekomaru's voice. Huh? What are you talking about? He's no longer. What's up? I'll beat you up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep <laughs> grossing me out like that. <laughs> hey, that's not cool. I was all not up night working my fingers to the bone. More importantly, I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Tero Tero was. <sighs> Don't ignore me. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Huh? Important? All right. This. It took me all night to make it. My. Is that a Nekomaru doll? I'm no doll. I'm Minimaru. <laughs> Minimaru. Huh? Minimaru? I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything. So it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Are you serious? Thanks. It's so cute. Thanks. I'll keep it. I never said anything about giving it away. I'll beat you up. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa. Hey now, that's a bully logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm. And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again... Engine's revving. I guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. Huh. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. 
<laughs> of course. Um, In the end, Gundham told us to never give up on life. I... So we'll never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundham, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? What did you think of my little pep talk? Oh my! Oh, did you say something? <laughs> oh man, poor Gazuichi. Sonia just clearly doesn't uh, admire him or anything, or even notices him. Are you kidding me? I was all up night memorizing that speech. Jeez. Oh, and there's that punchline. <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Minimaru. Man. Um, I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to pr massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Are you serious? That's amazing. Of course. I made it after all. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. You don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the freaking time. Well, but still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know. Hey, hey. Then that's even more reason we should avoid him. But still. But even if we do, uh, do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nagito's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Now then. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? <laughs> you know, what Nagito said during the class trial. Hey, bastard! What did he mean by except for Hajime? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope Speak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. Is that all? What? That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something that I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope Speak Academy because I had a talent all along, but shit. My whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself, and I thought getting into Hope Speak Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of, not some fucking backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserved department. Of course. She is right, no matter what, you are our friend. You know, there is a saying in Japan. Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey. The hell? You're saying that all wrong. <sighs> whoa, 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 what happened to her? So everyone is here. It was a really close battle. I am sorry. I apologize, I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. Huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Hmm? Ah, you saw me. Yeah, that's right. The mono beast this time was very strong. You? Don't, glass, don't get close to me. Get out of here. What? No gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> ah yes, I am ashamed of myself. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. 
After a fierce battle that's never been in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Ah. So I'm guessing there's gonna be two more deaths. And after that, it's gonna be the ending. Because considering this is the final island that we unraveled, I see. Oh man, I really don't want anyone, anybody to die anymore. What a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from all you can eat restaurant. Um. Don't tell me this again. You're gonna say stuff like, It's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true. I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't going? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. Huh? So. Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my serious side. Cause if we can't run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who puts us through this crap in one blow. Hey, hey. Fight? Seriously? That fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know. What are you saying? Why you? Did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey. Dumbass, I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonya. What? Don't brag about that. Settle down. If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then direct that power toward our enemy. All right. Now then, let us go for it. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right. I'm getting pumped up. Let's change our way to the new island. Let's charge our way to the new island. It's starting to get pumped up. The future foundation, Monokoma, Monomi. I'll crush them all at once. Yes. <laughs> Even me? <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve student. Reserve department? Man, I can't read. And that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on my moving forward. Chapter 5 Smile at Hope in the Name of Despair With the Mono Beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrive at the filen, final island. So this is the last island. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island was one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. Okay, is this it? Okay, we've got Seeking, Industries, Warehouse, Plushy, Jabberwock military. Damn. We go first to the vendor suite. Okay, we'll talk to uh, 
for Yohiko here. I was wondering who was lured here by the smell. I expected Akane though, not you. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. Anyway, Looks like the street is full of food vendors, but as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Normally, a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It's actually pretty creepy to think about. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, on to the next area. I'm guessing this will be the military. No, the factory. So, it's awfully big, man. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokoma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then, do you want to go inside together? Mm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Okay. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go to the warehouse first. You. Hey, Hajime, you're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, right? How could you tell? Well, I like to eat my favorite foods first. See? So instead of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. I guess you're right. Okay, fair enough. Alright then, I'm going inside. What the heck is this? What was being manufactured one after the other, and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Monokoma. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is pro processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. You've got monitor. Break room. The monocomas are being tossed into this gigantic basket, one after the other. They better not be real. I picked one up with my, with my hand. I see. So these are plushies. Monocoma plushies. Ah, uh, the real Monokoma is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, there are probably actual plushies. <laughs> Isn't the resemblance uncanny? There's my life-size plushies. Life-size plushies. <laughs> I was planning to hit big the time with this. That's why I'm making them like crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. But... You've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokoma's life-size plushie. I don't want it. Mm. Hmm, I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokoma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me. Do you really think it just, it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's lots of more Monokoma merch in the good, goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I really don't like going. But still. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are we going to do? You're right, then. We should go there for just a little while. 
Okay, let's go to the break room. Looks like the break room is on the other side of the door. It sounds like a place for housewives to gossip. But it doesn't seem like there's anyone at this factory. Okay. Off to the warehouse. Man, just look at that. Freaking monocoma factory. Without thinking, I peeked into the pile of stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a monocoma calendar, a monocoma sandbag, and even a monocoma guitar. First, there was a monocoma archive in the funhouse. Now there's a plushy factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. Okay, just a quick uh, dialogue for the camera and uh, monitor. Tons of books. There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Monocoma's poetry collection. How stupid. Who the hell is going to read this crap? Hey, hey. There's another book here too. Let's see. Monocoma's most precious moments. See? That's the actual title of this book. But it's just a collect of nude photos. Monocoma is already naked. Yep. <laughs> I know. Okay, random goods. Okay, there's a bunch of cardboard boxes, household appliances, and musical instruments. They're probably used for packaging goods before they're shipped. Looks like they're waiting to be shipped, but I don't. But I don't. But I don't. These are going. Ever going to leave the island? Okay. I'll, I think a uh, panel. This looks like a monocama panel, but why so many? I was thinking about using this to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them all look boom. Then they'd stand out, you know. No store would sell your stuff. You're so stupid. Of course not. You're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official monocoma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be life-size monocoma plushie. I can't believe you thought that far into the future. When you made this, your business is doomed to fail. Hey! Enough already. You have no business sense anyway. So just stop it. No, no. Hey, hey, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s. Hey, hey. Hmm. Don't you remember how long the stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a cheap business, you've already committed a major mistake. I won't forgive you. Because there's so much of me. My little sister. Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Hmm? Not the tortoise? A long, long time ago, there was these two old guys. Two old guys living together. The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bear. The end. Huh? Did you even need the old guys in the story? So, even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame, you don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. Oh man, poor, <laughs> poor Monomi. I think that's the line of uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. 
An uppercut. What a hopeless way of snapping Jack. But honestly, I can't help but feel like I've might made too many panels. Special bleeding service. So whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here. Come on, what are you waiting for? <gasps> Hajime, let's run. You're right. We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly, nar narrowly avoiding Monokoma's plan for inventory disposal. It's like you just got tired. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I think that's it. Wait. Okay. Wait, I'm just gonna go back there. Uh, I'm just gonna look at the options there. Uh, okay, outside. Uh, okay. Fair enough, we'll go to the military facility, the Jabberwock. Considering there's a tank, this is it. Hmm, that thing over there, is that a tank? Is it real? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that really, really, that looks really dangerous. We got a helicopter. This helicopter. Oh yeah! Used to execute Tero Tero. Don't screw with me. Ow! Um. Hajime, what happened? It's nothing, I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but... I just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it, I'm so weak. Okay, we've got uh, jeeps. Is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has engine inside, but I don't even know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off it. It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. Firearms. And there's tons of them. There's a lot of different weapons like guns and anti-tank rockets. Carelessly stacked in there. Is it really alright to handle this carelessly? Okay, we've got the tank. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather e extensive. All right. This might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even, chi even a child in grade school can operate a tank. No problem. No problem. Um. A course in modern warfare is a required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with anime, and now this. Sonia's country never ceases to baffle me. However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. Please wait. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator seat. That's the future foundation insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plant. What is this? However, I assume it belongs to Monokoma, and it was placed rather ostentatiously. 